I think I can officially say I've seen a Hallmark or a Lifetime movie. Chase Liaki here with the Blue Futon reviewing Someone Like You. What's about? Pretty simple premise. You have a dude who really loves his childhood friend, but you know what? They're never going to be boyfriend, girlfriend because they're just the bestest of best friends. But something horrible happens to her, and they realize she's a petri dish baby. Petri dish baby. And you know what? There is two of them. So they, whoop, they, whoop, and one of them went that direction in Birmingham, Alabama, and the one that passed away. And now one's in Nashville, Tennessee. And that guy's like, I gotta figure out if she's really real or not. But they don't know if it's a boy or a girl or not. Is it gonna be one of those twisty roos? Okay, it's not a twisty roo there. But you know what? He doesn't, I mean, London. He was looking for London. But now he sees Andy. And is there gonna be love? Let's find out. So, did I like this movie? Um, It's very surface level very serviceable for the crowd that just loves Hallmark movies. If this is the intro to Hallmark movies, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Does this movie do harm? No. Is there weird scenarios the more you think about it? Yes. But when I say it looks fine, it's a normal flick. I I, I don't know what else to say. This might be my weakest review in quite some time because I just don't know what to say about this movie. It is one of the most non-predictable movies ever. You know exactly what's going to occur. You know when someone's going to get angry. You know when someone's going to get sad. You know when manipulation is going to happen. You know when a kiss is going to occur. You know when someone's going to come out of nowhere. You know this weird laugh is going to happen. There is no surprise whatsoever. Even the accident that occurs, it's just more of like, bump. Oh no, someone got hit. It's like, you need it for me for that accident scene. You need to be more believable because you see the truck moving and the truck is maybe moving 25 30 miles an hour. Yes, someone can completely die with that, but just how it was portrayed like she was in a 70 mile an hour car wreck and like, but she never flipped over the vehicle. It was more of a, I mean, if you had some athletic prowess, you would have like, whoa, Matrix out of here, uh, you know. Uh, hardcore parkour out of here. And if she was really a ballerina dancer, she would have at least some reflexes. But that's just a weird this nitpick of the movie. But you know what's going to happen. He sees the new girl. Love is going to ensue. Blah, blah, blah. And weird stuff happening in between. There's two things when I was watching this movie. Maybe it's a morbid of me. But the first thing. Alright, the whole point of the movie is, you know, the whole love triangle. Right? Not even a triangle. Well, you could say a triangle because she had Andy girl. Was it going to be engaged or maybe not? But, you know, friend zone, friend zone. Okay. Isn't it weird, though, that he went to go find the sister, but then fell in love with the person he was always in love with, but is a different character? It's almost like, it's almost like one of those things where a brother dies and the widow marries, like, the brother's brother. And so it's like really awkward. She stays in the family, but is with someone else in the family. And it's like a weird, morbid thing. This kind of feels the same way. Okay, it's not the same way because they never met per se, but it's weird for him because he, you know for a fact he always loved London. Always has, always will. So he's basically, it's not a clone, but he's basically falling in love with the clone who's a completely different person. It's not a clone. I know it's not a clone. It's a Petri dish baby. All right. Number two, there's a subplot with a kidney. That's all I'm going to say. And I I was just thinking in my head, what if it's a damn morbid fucking twist at the end where they lured this girl the whole time to get a kidney? Like, it is a, you know, a trafficking movie of organs. Like, I'm like, oh my God, is it going to go there? Of course it doesn't. So my morbid fuckery doesn't happen. Also, my biggest, one of my biggest issues is the transition with this movie is something occurs, then it's like 18 hours later, or 24 hours later, or a week later. Like, there is no, like, transitions and nothing to, like, get in between. Like I said, if it's a huge fucking surgery for a kidney to come out, 
hours later, if it's, I'm pretty sure it's a kidney disease, it's a kidney transplant. Hours later, you're just going to walk around next to a bonfire and a guy's going to hug you from behind. You have a fucking scar right there. What the fuck? Am I going crazy? I don't know. But look, I'm dogging on this movie because I want to say it's easy just because it is so surface level. It's pathetic. And is that a bad thing? No. There are probably people that go into this movie, kind of like they do with Godzilla x Kong, they just want to shut off their brains and be happy and see a cute love story. I understand that. And I, congratulations, this is going to fulfill your boat. This one didn't. When I have love stories like this, I need something a little bit unconventional to be like, oh, snap a cracker. I did not expect that to happen. But you know what? It's serviceable. And I can't really make it a negative movie because of that reason. So someone like you will receive a 3 out of 5 of futons, which equals that 60%. So see the correction you scores gave this one. So you have critics, 4 of them, nothing on the top. Audience, 96% over 100. For the down below, we have 3 positives and 1 negative. You heard it right, 75%. 60, 75, 96. Chase Lack here with the Boo Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. One of the things, Boo Topia. You Boo Tones think about your great day. Now, I can watch this tape tomorrow. We can have a month or a year from now. I'm going to you one of you. Enjoy life. Have fun. And did you like this movie? Or am I just a little too harsh? Stick up the butt. Let me know.